Okay, so say I'm a person that has been uh-huh. in hyper grace my whole life. Okay. And apparently, I would like some more rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll rephrase, but I'm going right. to keep that part in. <laughs> okay. Say I've grown up my whole life in hyper grace, but I realize that that's wrong now. Okay. How do I stop thinking that way? Like, what steps yeah. would I need to take? To like, act. because that's why I said it like that. Because it's like, right. do I just go look for some rules? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, and, and that's you know, and I think that's obviously why you corrected yourself too. Because, yeah. like, no, the answer is not to become a legalist. Right. The answer is not to just go add on rules. I would say the answer is to find a place, uh, you know, where all right, we're going to go through the scriptures together, and it's actually okay to talk about the fact that there is sin. Mm-hmm. That we have bits of sin, and that it's okay to say that we need to deal that that you know using Paul's phrases right we need to you know crucify the flesh you know and there's there that's a like it's like that idea of like the flesh has been crucified and the flesh is being crucified like mm-hmm. yes we have died with Christ and we are dying with Christ you know we're gonna put to death the deeds of the flesh as Paul says in Romans eight. And so I think there's that reality that being together with this is where I think being together with people and discipleship and and and, and confession is so healthy because I I want to look more like Christ like I want so for the someone who's been in hyper grace and they know they're loved by God they know they have an identity as a son and daughter of God I would say hold on to that mm-hmm. like don't step under rules don't step under shame okay hold on to those things. But it's okay now to enter into the process of sanctification and looking more like Jesus. It's okay to enter into the process of saying, Holy Spirit, convict me. And those are all phrases that would have been foreign to them and actually been told, don't say those things. Right. Like, they would have been told, Holy Spirit doesn't convict. They would be told sanctification is not a process. They're going to be told, you don't have to ask for forgiveness. They're going to be told, you don't have to confess your sins to one another. I'm saying, I think those things are actually what begins to free us to love better, to love others, and not in the sense of rules, but in the sense of that's what we're called to do. Like, you know, Jesus is pretty clear, like, you know, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. You know, John is saying, hey, if, if it, you know, if you love the Lord, you know, obey his command to so love like, one another. It's like freeing for them to realize that they're terrible people. <laughs> I think it's freeing to realize that I don't have that I that there is a way of following Jesus that it's not just loosey goosey that's not just mm-hmm. do whatever I want how like there is a there's a way of following Jesus and I'm not saying it has to look a certain way like I'm not going to sit here and go it needs to look like the way it did with John Wesley in the 1700s or mm-hmm. it's not it doesn't have to look like the way it did with Charles Finney in the 1800s like it doesn't like I'm not saying it has to look these certain ways all I'm saying is is that to realize, hey, there is grace and truth. There is a fuller character of God that I can actually discover what actually makes him mad. Mm-hmm. I can actually discover there are things that break his heart. So he has like more of a personality to you now. Yeah, he's not just your big, happy yeah. Santa Claus up there or right. something. Yeah. Right, just like legalism. He's not a just an angry, angry authoritarian mean, dictator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So which one which one would you say is harder to get out of, legalism or hyper grace? Boy, I think legalism would be harder to me. Okay. Because you've had Good rules. Answer. You, you've had rules pounded into you for so long mm-hmm. that it would be I think it'd be hard to yeah. move out of that. Because a lot of people feel safe in rules. Or they it feels like rules are clear. Let's just follow rules. Right, and for some people, it's easier for them because of their sin bents or whatever you want to call them to uh-huh. follow the rules. Correct. Right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so I, th- I think that would be kind of harder to flip that switch of where I'm not just constantly condemning or shaming myself mm. because of missing the mark with God. Yeah.